Um, I've been printing these clips. So Jack, have you got a, a mask there so that you can just show us how it works with your yeah. amazing mask? Go on then, show us what you do. Put so put it, yeah, yeah. Uh, grab the clip. Uh, people say it might be a bit goofy, but you actually can't feel it if you've got hair. And then um, you put the sides of your mask onto there, so there's one on each side, so it doesn't hurt your ears. <laughs> so how did you come up with this idea to do this? Um, originally, I was just making it for my brothers because um, they'd just be taking the masks off if it was out in public. So I was making it so they couldn't take it off. But then um, my mum was like bragging about me on Facebook and people said, oh, you should make someone for the NHS. <gasps> well, we'll come to that in a moment. But tell us a bit about your brothers then. Why did you make it for your brothers? I don't know. I just didn't want them to catch corona if we ever went out or if they took the masks off. What age are they? Um, this is really testing my brothership. Um, one's one, I think, and the other one's three. 18 months and three years old. That's pretty good. Uh, Vicky, this is so lovely. The fact that, first of all, this is such a great idea, but the fact he was inspired by his little brothers to do know, how gorgeous so is that? You really is lovely. You're a caring soul, really, aren't you? So, so how did this come about? You've, you've got a 3D printer, haven't you? Tell us about that. Yeah. Um, so I got my 3D printer for Christmas. I've been asking for around about three years. Um, sorry, one sec. It's getting tangled. So here it's printing. Oh, you probably can't see that, but it's printing there. This is falling apart, and sometimes they get overlaid on each other. So you just have to give it a little roll around like that so it's able to come out because last night I had um, these printing and it got tangled so we couldn't print them it was fail. But there's also an element to this Vicky isn't there which I don't know if you were surprised about this or if there's something you expected from him but it's quite entrepreneurial isn't it? it it's very awesome our own little bill boy. <laughs> <laughs> So at the minute you've made them for your, your, your brothers, but you mentioned about doing something for key workers. Tell us about that. Um, so um, my mum was bragging about me on Facebook and uh, some people mentioned that the workers' ears have been like killing them and some have even bleeding. So I just thought I might as well make some of these and then just like donate them to them so maybe they can have a little bit more comfort whilst they're working. That is lovely. And I think, Vicky, when you posted this on the, the Isle of Man Ladies lockdown page, it went a bit bonkers, didn't it? It really did. I had to turn comments off because my phone blew, <laughs> my phone blew up. And it was at the time when my youngest was going to sleep. And even if I turned my phone on too silent, it was still vibrating and things. So I turned the comments off. But what a beautiful response. The whole point of putting it on that page is because it's full of wonderful ladies you know, and it's such a nice little community page, that page. So, um, yeah, so lots of people got in touch and said maybe A&E or the hospital. And so that's where we're up to now, isn't it? Yep. How many, how many do you plan on making? Have you got any ideas? 100. 100? 100. And then maybe resize it and do some bigger ones in yeah. case they don't fit. How long does it take to make them? Seven hours for 23. And you're, as you said, you're sort of fitting this in, aren't you, with homeschooling and everything as well. But this, I guess this could sort of class towards, could this count towards some of your classes, maybe? <laughs> Design technology. If you want this, can't it? Then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you want to do when you're older then, Jack? Have you got any plans? I want to be a design engineer. Well, this sort of fits, doesn't it, really? Yeah. This is like your audition for the future. Oh, and after you've made these clasps, these uh, these grips for the masks, then what, what are you going to do next? Um, I don't know. Hopefully make my own shop because um, there's a box here full of some of the uh, This was the original idea, so they could have adjusted it, but it snapped because it snaps way too easily. So. And you made that as well, did you? Yeah, but that one was snapping way too easily. So it is so clever. You can, can you pretty much make anything on a 3D printer? Yeah, I was making this mask out of the mask, but it failed. <laughs> um, I've printed off keycaps. Um, character. Yeah, you like making those. Yeah. I can't believe um, you made these. A batarang for my uncle. 
That is cool. I have to say, this is probably, I'm going to guess, one of the most successful Christmas presents you've ever got for him. It hasn't been since Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and I made a Deadpool that I painted. Oh, I'm sold. I wanted to start my own Facebook page up, but my mum won't let me make one. He's only 12, you see, so... <laughs> You've got a bit of time before you need to go there. That's it, that's it. So this could be the start of a very, very bright future for you, Dad. Well, it's been an absolute joy talking to us. Will you keep us posted and let us know when uh, you're going to get these clasps up to, to Nobles and A&E and let us know how it goes? Absolutely, we will do. Uh, we look forward to seeing more from you in the future. Yeah, well, thank you. Cheers, stay safe. Bye. Bye.